County Dispatch, may I help you? Did you hear any reports or any objects in the air about 15 minutes ago? Mm, you know, somebody called in, but I'm not, in, I really don't know what that would be. Yeah, I mean, it was very strange. Okay. Looks like a back end of a, like one of them fighter planes, you know, like the plane coming out the back. Okay. Was it just like moving at a slow rate of speed? It wasn't a slow rate, it was a fast rate, but it was coming down. It was coming down? Yeah. Like straight down or at an angle? Like an angle. At an angle? Yep. Okay. I mean, it was a little big and, you know, in the back. Okay. Plane. Check with the air base in Vienna and see if they have any report of anything in the area. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, right. bye bye. 996. 996. We have a report by a CC. Actually, two calls in of a vehicle in the sky, unknown object above Samson Drive. Have you noticed anything? That's affirmative, sir. What's the location? The area of Samson Drive. Advised in the air, in the sky. He didn't advise direction. 998. 998, cut. Did he give you a description on the object? Public service, sir. I'll give you further. Okay. Daddy dispatch. Okay. Bob, I swear to God, four calls in on an unidentified object over Liberty. Four calls. Four calls on an unidentified flying object. Come on down, take a look. All right, we'll check it out. You want me to call the air base and see if there's anything in the area?
check in the area, but I really, these UFO calls are getting out of hand. I don't know what it is. If it was, what the hell would they come to Liberty for? There's no intelligent life in Liberty. Come on now. <laughs> We're telling everybody they're, they're, for, they're doing a sequel to the, the, what's that new Star Trek movie, Generation so. <laughs> Louis Green, no noise. No noise. I mean, it was low flying and took off. So. Oh, come on. Fifth Avenue. Are you serious? It's driving up Fifth Avenue extension. Now, no, but. No, oh, no, Christ. Not driving. Are you flying? It came down and just zooped over it with a big, glowing object. Well, we got four calls on it. The last guy said it was a fighter plane. <laughs> me that I would do a, like a big big news story on the water and liberty and the effects on the people because these people are clearly afflicted <laughs> but I appreciate the tip I'll let them know some more on it I just I dispatched it because God only knows my luck it would land here abduct some people and I would be in trouble for I, dispatching I was impressed because I heard the way you dispatched it and I said she's trying real hard not to break <laughs> <laughs> but I'm working with the biggest jokers on the on the force tonight so it's real hard hard not to. Lucky. <laughs> well, if we do run into a UFO, I swear I will call you personally. Okay? okay? <laughs> we'll give you an exclusive. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. County dispatch now. Liberty, please. Pardon me? Am I calling on Liberty, please? What you need, ma'am? Uh, I wonder, did you have any, um, anyone call you about a, a strange plane or airplane or something in the air? Yeah, they're checking it out. Yeah, I just saw it on Samson Road. Where? On Samson Drive. Okay. It was coming down Samson Drive. It was almost, it looked like it was, I don't know what it was, if it was a flying saucer or what it was. It wasn't an airplane. Uh-huh. It was not an airplane. It was down awfully low. Are you the same lady that called Channel 33? No. Okay. All right. You, you must have had calls, other calls in order to have. Yeah, not many, a couple. Yeah. All right, thank you. What did it look like, ma'am? It was like a, uh, almost like an iridescent color. It was like a bluish, bluish purple. You know, it was like a long streak. You know, like it, had, it almost was like a, it had fire coming out of the back of it. Okay. You know, maybe it was, I don't know what it could have been if it was, if it was an, I know it wasn't an airplane. Okay, ma'am, I'll let them know. All right. All right, ma'am. 9983 radio. 9983. Okay, yeah, CC spot me, said uh, it appeared to be hovering about uh, 50 feet off the ground, heading towards Bottom Hutch, and I'm going to be checking that area. It's supposed to be a large object with a lot of lights on it. Sir, I have another report on Samson Drive, and also we've been advised uh, by caller to the media. Media informed us it was a red, it was a blue-green object hovering, no noise. It was in the area of Fifth Avenue Extension. I'll go that. That Fifth Avenue Extension just came in. This is just in now. And any good? I see some lights over oh, one block from me. I'm going to try to get over there. I got to go down the street here. It's a large object, whatever it is. 996, are you in the area? 925, do you want to head over to that area? Yeah. Repeat your traffic. Copy, I'm in there. Where do you see it, SM? I just got a glimpse of it. I could see, uh, I'm on Samson right now. I could see it heading by Fifth Avenue on the other side. I could see some lights up in that area. All right, 925 and 998. Did you like set my phaser for stun? Yeah, go ahead and do that. 96, can you repeat your traffic? The area 5th Avenue Extension. The area 5th Avenue Extension. Oh, same area. 996, you advise that you don't see anything? I can see. It was like a red pulsating light. The radio was, was advised to be blue and green. I saw it was red. It was like a pulsating light. It looked like it was like right to the bottom of the airplane, but it was real big. Okay, we're trying to contact the airbase this time. Stand by. If there's a number for the tower. Copy. Maybe it's a flying Christmas. Yeah, I'm standing in this eight tiny ring here. Eight tiny green men. Yeah, no more calls on this. Last one in was when I advised last. Nobody's answering. Uh, yes, sir. This is Ryan from Liberty Touch. 
Police Department in Yankton, Ohio. Yeah. We have a report of some flying object in our jurisdiction, in our area, uh, above the Samson Drive Fifth Avenue extension area. I could not give you any kind of uh, traffic, you know, direction that would help you know that area. Do you know of anything that should be in our airspace this time, close to the ground? Uh, right this now, is not a prank phone call, I swear. You can call me back uh, and verify. Look at the uh, radar scope, and uh, I go 60 mile diameter of Youngstown, and there is nothing out there. Oh, oh shit. Not even anything up high. We've got no five, five accounts, five calls in on this. Yeah. Something's flying in our area, and it's low to the ground. Would you be able to monitor, like, a Cessna or something with a light on it? Well, you know, if it was, do you mean visibly? No, uh, the with, with the radar. Oh, uh, with the radar, uh, it depends on how high it is and where they are. You know, if it's so uh, low, radar coverage, so there isn't any. Okay, now I get a text to go over the air and tell them something, and I don't want to say you couldn't find anything. <laughs> is there any, like, uh, clause I might use that it might be like a personal aircraft or something that might be used at night or something? Could be, could be, uh, you know, it just could be anything. Um, uh, as far as, uh, you know, any kind of helicopter traffic or anything down low, they don't have any kind of requirements to, uh, it made no noise. unless they're coming into the airport here. Huh? Okay, so you have no communications with helicopters, it could be something like that? Yeah, it could be a helicopter, okay. it could be, uh, the helicopters particularly flying okay. low. All right, I'm, I'm buying this 100%, but... Are you, uh, you know, does that location anywhere near a hospital? We are close to a hospital, but the location is away from, okay. it's as low as they said it was to the ground, it would be approximately five miles away from the hospital. Yeah. Um, we're closer to, that end of town is closer, like, out towards the Vienna line, uh -huh. Vienna Air Base area, and that's what I thought maybe it was related to. Yeah, we haven't had, uh, we haven't had anything uh, go on, uh, you know, nothing come from that direction. Uh, okay. I can hear it from the now, right? Then I'm going to repeat, like, Okay, just go out here northbound, climbed up high, and uh, nothing's going on around here. Okay, I am going to advise you of this. You could take it and file it in your G and in your garbage can if you want to. Uh, we've got accounts of this. Hold on one second for me. Okay, I've got four to six calls. Hold on one second. Smart ass. Okay, um, at this time, I've had four to six calls come in about a lit object, well lit object, blue green lights, hovering above uh, the area of Samson Drive and Fifth Avenue. The object was low to the ground, did not make any noise, uh, hovered there for some time, and then continued moving down the Fifth Avenue extension road. Uh, my unit was out. He caught something he thought was red. Somebody described it as the end of a fighter pilot plane. I don't know what the hell kind of lines of continuum they're drawing here. I don't see any, but this is what I was advised of, so I wanted to call. Okay, well, you know, we don't, uh, we, I have a, uh, if I was downstairs in the radar room, I would have a binder with some phone numbers. We have uh, some 800 numbers as far as, uh, you know, identified flying object reports and things like that. If you wish, you can call, okay. uh, you know, during uh, business hours tomorrow. I, that like number. I said, I don't but, know. Uh, you know. I don't see anything out there, uh, nothing on the radar scope, I haven't seen anything, and, uh, you know, we don't really do anything with the information. Okay, I just, I thought I'd pass along in case somebody was maybe flying without permission, and, you know, night flying or something like that. I didn't know what was going on, but uh, as long as I've done my job, passing along, and I don't want to sound like a crackpot, but that's what we've got in so far. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. 998 radio. 998, good. I'm going to quit. I don't see anything right now. What I saw, I have no idea what I saw. It just might have been just a light up in the sky. I don't know. Be in service. Copy. 925. 925, good. You may want to advise you. Surrounding jurisdiction is a stop and Okay. County dispatch. Hi. It's Sodomite James Road and Samson uh, Drive out in Liberty. Yes, ma'am. Um, I wonder if they, I heard on the scanner where they were looking for that big blue. Right, ma'am. Yeah, did they find anything yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, the dispatcher from Liberty Township is right now. She's uh, speaking with the air base to see if they have possibly something in the area at this time. I see. Yeah, I heard on scanner. I thought it was one of the flying saucers since it wasn't very 
far from the ground. Well, that's why she contacted them in case of the media in on that. I beg your pardon? Did they call the news on that? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I thought I heard in the sky that they did, but they think it might be from the air base. Right. That's like I said, the Liberty Dispatch is on the uh, phone right now speaking with the air base. And they think that's where it's from. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. Okay, Bye -bye. ma'am. Bye-bye. We've contacted the FAA administration and uh, warned they've advised nothing on the radar scope within a 60 mile radius of Youngstown. They did advise they have no communication with any helicopters or any private owned vehicles, air vehicles. 98, uh, they're not aware of anything then, right? Negative. He checked the radar and advised negative nothing on the radar within 60 mile radius of the Youngstown area. Again, he did, he did verify they have no contact with any helicopter or private owned vehicles that might be in the area. We are continually getting calls on this, so. What's the area? Still Samson Fifth Avenue. Uh, we're, um, we're right there. Uh, I don't see anything up in the air now. How long ago did these calls come in? This just in within two. Good And I said, well, I said, could it be like 
like a weather balloon. He goes, no. He goes, these lights are incredibly bright. And he goes, and this thing's just, he goes, and this thing's just hovering. It's not moving. And I said, well, maybe it's a private plane or something. Now, this thing, whatever it was, lit up, I mean, literally lit up. You could stand, if you were underneath it, you could see it would be like daylight, but red light. Well, I logged it. I know this is coming back up. I know everybody and their brother's going to be calling tomorrow. And I'm like, I logged it. Did I saw it? Oh, my God. No, I didn't like you saw it. But you know what? They'll be pulling that tape. We're all going to get our asses shoved. You watch federal government will come out here and go, okay, and we're going, oh, little green men, Santa Claus, flying Christmas tree, all this shit on the channel. We're all going to get our asses in a grinder. Maybe I want <laughs> So, I don't know. If it was a UFO, it's logged, you know. But, I mean, you saw it. If you saw it. Well, I, I, I well what did you think it was? Huh? What did you really think it was? I don't know. I, I, I didn't hear me. I came across it. So whatever it is, it's big. I, but you know what? Yeah, I know you play. You know what I mean? I know you joke around. That's no, what I, I said. I wasn't joking. I was not joking. Well, I, I was for a minute, joking. it didn't sound like you were. I mean, you were laughing, and then all of a sudden, you weren't laughing. And I thought, well, maybe he's trying to make me, like, think there's really this UFO there. And I was like, oh. No, I, I wasn't joking. I saw the light. I saw a large red light. Oh. <laughs> Hold on one second, Howling Guy, you think I'm a UFO expert, he was talking to me, you want me to let you go? Yeah, alright, I'll talk to you then. Okay, sweetheart, take care, bye-bye. Howdy, dispatch, may I help you? Yeah, this is Howling 433. Hey, 433. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Liberty was spotting earlier. Oh, cut it out. No, I'm serious. You saw it. it for about 10 minutes now. Your ass. No, I'm serious. Man. Go straight out your door. Hold on, I'm on Hanhide. Where is it at? I'm on Hanhide, okay? Come get me, I want to go see this. Is it outside? Can I, like, see it from here? Well, you'll see it. Here. I can't believe Plug it. Plug into me. All right, I'm going to go out and look at it now. All right, you're up high enough. It's straight east of you. It's east of me? Straight east of you. Look straight which, up. Which way do I go when I, okay. Up, up. You know where Kane Drive is across from the hospital? So, plug in for me. I'm going to go out. Liberty, get Howlin' Liberty. I'm going to run out. Stay on the phone. Okay. Okay, I'm coming back. I'll tell you if I see it. Okay. Okay. Hey, Mikey, do you got a copy or see it? Yeah, that thing has not moved in 10 minutes that I've been watching it. Come up on Henhide and start south off of King's Grave if you're on Henhide. Come on down, you'll see me park. I've been watching this thing through my binoculars. I can't quite make it out. It changes colors from white to red to green. You know, those are colors of planes, but the sucker has not moved. It hasn't gone any direction since I've been watching it. It's a good 10 minutes. It's an alien. It's an alien. Yeah, it's an alien, all right. Prove it. Hello. <laughs> she, she went outside. She was back oh, in a minute. Okay. Well, I couldn't believe it. I was just putting by my house, and I looked over, you know, laughing, we think it, because we had one two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I looked over, and I said, oh, here's a plane coming in the land, you know, because I'm used to seeing those. This thing has not moved in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's too bright and too low, and it changes colors to be a star. It's an alien that came down to steal all our Christmas presents. Yeah, I wish. Hang on and it's second. Santa Claus. Go ahead, 429. Where are you at? Did you see my car down on Henhide, uh, about uh, a half to a quarter of a mile, somewhere in there, down from oh, King's Grave? Yeah, there you go. Okay, you got a pretty good view out here on uh, King's Grave. Okay, you see it? I mean, I got a perfect view where I'm at. I just can't quite make it out through my binoculars. I got me my heads up. Can you go to point Right, I'm on public service too, so hang on, I'm trying to juggle mics. Okay, I'm on 14. You got copies? Yeah, it looks like I'm getting pretty close here, but uh, I can't really judge how far out it is, you know? Oh, I've been stationary since I called you. you know, however long it took you to come from over on the west side, that bugger has not moved. Yeah, well, I'm like, uh, I'm going over 11 right now. And, uh, Has it moved any? It looked like it might have flickered a little in that because it's moving slightly. Yeah, it's the binoculars. Like it's moving. I'm, uh, I always think the earpiece could uh, get a pretty good eye on it. Okay, uh, Mikey's up here with me now. He's looking through the binox. It looks like it might have moved just, just slightly because uh, it moved from one side of a tree to another. But it's still uh, visible right here where we're at. So over about 11. Around 11. Uh, 11. Uh, 11. Uh, 11. Uh, 11. Uh, 11. Uh, you say you're 
at the airbase? Okay, uh, it should be south of you, right? Yeah, uh, it's like it's going in circles. Looks like it's doing circles here? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it's moving. So what area is it in? Huh? What area? Uh, hang on one sec. Uh, uh, Dave, what area is it in? Uh, uh, what area? Uh, hang on one sec. Dave, Davey, so what area do you think it's in now? Hang on, Dave. Okay, uh, hey, where you're at and where I'm at, I'm about uh, half a mile south of King's Grave on Hen Heights. Hen Heights, half a mile south. south of King's Grave. It's still a little bit south of me, so no, where are you at as far as on Ridge Road? Do you guys have to take P tests at all, Helen? Because we went outside, we didn't see anything. But I don't know where I got the under construction, and we're watching it right through the empty field. You're seeing it through the field? Yeah, we're seeing well, it. How big is it? Of, what color is it? Because I got it, it 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 it. from like a whitish, whitish red to pulsating uh, greenish lavender. Do you see any red? It was a whole red light. He said it looked like... Well, from the distance, I mean, I can't tell. My, my binoculars are a cheap set of binoculars. I thought I saw some red. Let me check with Dave from his angle. Do you see red and green on it? Hey, Dave, from your angle, I'll call the you see pulsating red and green? I'm telling you, we went outside, we didn't see anything. Yeah, what? I'm calling the air base again. Okay. Uh, hold on, just stand the line. Oh, I'd gladly come down and pick you up in the car and bring you I don't want to see it. Come get me. All right. Come get me. All right. I'll be outside. All right. Okay. All right. I need a break. He's going to take me to see it. I don't believe this. Where's the number I had before? Here it is. Hey, 
talked to Leslie? What, would you believe Leslie if she said yes? No. Is, isn't that the UFO that we got like eight calls on earlier today and they're looking at again? Leslie said yes. It is. Be shit, no, we got we got calls earlier tonight on it. And um, a couple of different people, the officers said they saw it, and uh, one of the hound officers just said he saw it at King's Graves and Head High, covering there for like 10 minutes. So who knows? It's pretty messed up. We got reports on some last night. We got them reports on them tonight. So, whoopie doopie. <laughs> All quiet over there tonight? Yeah. You need to be over here where the interesting things happen. Yeah, I'm going to go outside and take a little room. Yeah, we, well, we went out from here and couldn't see it, but it's hard because there's a lot of lights, you know. With, with, I guess they, uh, one of the hound officers said it was like in an area of Henhide and King's Graves, though, hovering there for like 10 minutes. A big blue. What was it supposed to be, Rick? Blue and green? Let me see what color it was. Hold on. Rick, what was it supposed to be, blue and green? It's supposed to be blue and green, I guess. Yeah, UFO number out of the road there. What are they doing? So, we, we called out to the air base earlier, and uh, they said that they hadn't had anything on their uh, on their their radar. But if it's a, if it's a, in the area of Henhide and, and King's Graves, it would have to be showing up on their radar. You know, if there was something there. Don't they have any fighter jets out there? Can you tell what they just said? Somebody just said something. I don't know what they said. Though. All right, I'll let you go. All righty. If I find out anything else, I'll call and let you know. <laughs> All right. Bye. Right now, that have sighted. 
settings on it. Okay, I got them both. Um, I'm in the area of the county home. I got Howland, looks like it's in the area of Warner Road. And I got Liberty, it looks like it's down near Robert. That's for If you see it any close and can identify it, let us know. A summative. Go ahead. Okay, it doesn't seem like it uh, moved at all from where I'm at here. Okay, uh, you want to by yourself or you then follow anything that's documented in the observation also? Okay, I'm at the airbase. I had the uh, security guard out here. He doesn't know what to make of it either. Do you want me to get a visual on it? Oh, yeah, we can see it from right here. 433 control. 433. Yeah, so Liberty Dispatcher, the outcome of the FAA inquiry. on their screens. They're probably not going to tell us if there's anything anyway, if it's anything to do with the military. Another Hangar 7 happened here in Trouble County. It's in Brookfield now. 998 radio. 998. Okay, we could see it from 62. A large light. Uh, I don't know if it's changing color. I can see red in it. It just seems to be hovering right now. That's what.
southeast of there looks to be rather high, though, not just over the tree line. Yeah, it's not, uh, not much, probably. And uh, stop out this way. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye
get back to you, but what this possibly could be? Negative, they advised did not show up on the radar. 25. 2-5, go. Negative, so we'll check for one.
he said that did not look what he you know look like what he saw. So I do not know you know if it was the distance or what the situation was. Hmm. But if that's a planet, that's a planet. It's pretty yeah. damn low. But oh yeah, well like I said, it was lower when we first saw it, and like I said, we've been sitting down here on the strip, just you know everybody sitting still, not moving, uh -huh. and we every so often we had to adjust the telescope. So it's it's moving, but it's arcing in a set pattern. Uh -huh. So it looks like it's stationary. Other than it's a little higher, and you know like where I'm at right now, I can see it where before I know I wouldn't have been able to see because I'm down here at the corners, you know, and that's even lower than the center. And uh, I can see it now. So, oh well. Okay. All righty. Thanks for calling. Very many more calls on it. No, nothing uh, else. <laughs> well, we'll probably all have a lot of answers today. I'll huh? tell you what. It's enough for me. <laughs> right. Thanks for calling. All right, you take care. Bye bye.